you know, Angel, like, one of the main things was he really loved, like, 80s music, you know, and, like, we talked a lot about kind of synth wave and Tangerine Dream and um, those kind of things, and then, you know, more kind of modern stuff that leans on that, like all the kind of vapor wave things and stuff like that. So I think, like, having that as a jumping-off point was really interesting. But then as I got to know him deeper, like, you know, we were around the same age, and so a lot of the things that... You know, when music really hits you, when you're kind of a teenager and you feel very emotional about things, I think a lot of those things were very similar for us. I think that Blue Beetle sounds, it's like, it's, it, it's electrifying and it's, it's, it's exciting and it's, it's big and it's bold, but at the core of it is a, is a big beating heart full, full of emotion. So, you know, a lot, a lot of writing, like I have a recording studio in my house, so a lot of stuff will start with me either playing it on piano or, you know, I have a huge wall of synths and all that stuff. So I'll, I'll build a lot of things at home and then, <clears throat> yeah, and then it's a process of, you know, there'll be things that I mock up orchestrally. So, you know, I'll, I'll write for a big ensemble of strings and brass and timpani and whatever else. But then it's also like, oh, hey, this like really strange percussive thing that I might have made by like, you know, banging a lot of things from the kitchen together or like, you know, some strange kind of like synth patch that I made that's doing drum patterns. Like how can that be augmented with orchestra? And, you know, we did a day where we had these percussionists come in and they had, you know, these huge ski poles with like crazy things attached to them. That they're smashing into the floor and, you know, dustbins and chains and hammers. And so uh, it's really just, I mean, it's a really exciting process of just, finding what the what the core of the music is and then how do we extrapolate that and how do we experiment to make it bigger and broader and larger and more exciting <laughs>